Hello Joe, me again. I've got the I've got I've got six update for you. I've got a sixth update for you. The sixth and the sixth update and final so six update and fi sixth and final update for you. Uh, six update for you on the 109. Um, now I've just pre-warn you this video is going to be in bits because I've only got the this the, this video is going to be in bits so that I've got because I've got I've got a bit of paint I've got a bit of paint work done on the aircraft but I'm going to be going to be splitting this into sections so that you see a bit of it on of, of what I've got done of it now and then when I've got a bit more done on it I'm going to film that bit and then of course I'll just merge it together as one and then also upload it but before I do before I do show you what I've got on it for now um what i've got done on it for now obviously i'll see you guys i'll see i'll do my business, usual business and have shout outs to model pro 72 lenny basic modeling rob atomic 2 atomic 32 brian aaron newlands shane highland that's uh shane shane highland Aaron Newlands, Alex Modeling, Shane Highland, Cleto One Lewis, um, no, Mark O'Neill, Nigel Wells, Cohen C, Lon, 757 Pete, Warren Blanche, Wa Wa Waterloo, 745, John, um, that's Guy in Spartec, I, uh, that's Guy in Spartec, RSDV, Dead Ram, Tom, Mr. Z Kits, AZ Kits, AZ Kits, Airfit 3, Mr. W, A, Mr. W, Mr. AZ Kits, Airfit 3, Mr. W, Mr. Models, WS, Mr. Mr. Model Mosquito, WS, Train Boy 220, Golden Eagle, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Model, the crate the kit, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy, Crazy Kit Modeler, the Child Modeler, UK Scale Mod, UK Scale Modeler Ian, Charles Scale Models, uh, Charles Scale Models, mod, mod, Make Mr. Great Models, dude, looking forward to your next video. Uh, Joshy, Joshy Bob, Steve, Steve Mottram, Engineering Darkside, Ms. Vivi, Daniel E. Modeling, and Daniel E. Modeling, and that's really, and also massive shout out to all the, my subscribers, really. Uh, usual business, and that's Facebook, that's YouTube done. Facebook, Mum, hey, Dan. Marion, Ellie, Mia, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley, Billy, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, Andrew, Gavin, George, Tom, Tom, John, John, Joe, Tom, John, John, Tom, John, 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 Joe, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Louis, Debbie, Diggs, Nan, Miss You, Nico, and Charlotte. Charlotte, she's speaking to me. She's speaking to me last week, and I'll speak to you this week on the and I'll speak to you this week. But anyway, enough of that. You haven't come to find out. Um, anyway, enough of that. You haven't find out. Come to find out what what I've done on the what what you know what you know on what. You don't come out to find out about my pub, my personal life. You come out to find now what, how far I've got on. Is that the right one? No, it's not the right one. That one is. That one. That's right. You've come out to find out what I've got done on the 109 so far. What I've got, what what I've got done on the 109. All right. So, without further ado, 
I apologise about the lighting, I've tried to adjust it the best I could. <laughs> oh, this is really terrible lighting, I'm going to have to adjust this big time. Contrast. Hang on a minute, gents. I'm just going to pause the video a minute. I'm just going to pause a minute and judge gents. Right, I'm just going to pause the minute and I'll... That's better. Here we are gents, here's the, uh, the 109. Here's the, one, here's the 109 gents. Uh, here it is, here's the 109. Gentleman in um, primer. Here's the gentleman. Here's here's the one on nine gentleman in primer, uh, in uh, in its pro in its in its bare metal undercoat primer. Um, the paint went on really well. The paint the paint went on really well. Um, I had no I had no issues of paint splitting or bubbling or of paint splitting or a bub or you know I had no like no issues in terms of of paint not taking to the surface prop of split of paint splitting or of paint splitting or 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 of it taking to the sur of the paint not taking to the surface properly. Uh, so yeah, this is the see this is the one hundred and nine in all its glory in pro in the primer the primer um. I'll see you. I'll see when most people. Obviously, when most people stick it in primer, a lot of it just, they stick. They obviously they put it in um, in grey in the grey in grey prime. In like in a in, you know in um, in prime in grey primer. But because this is a because because I wanted because I wanted to because I found out on the, in the because I found out where is it where is it. Where is it? Severely unprepared here. It's bad. It's not like me. Not like me at all. Because I've been using the old Meshmit BF109 Haynes manual for referencing, and because it's and it actually tells you in the in in the book actually tells you in the book in the 109 book it actually tell in the Haynes manual it actually tells you that the skin is um is one is, is sheet metal is what is now is what is is one millimeter uh is one mill is is sheet uh, is is dura is a it's it's mate it's a jet it's an other it's a the the, the strip the, the sheet the the skin of the 109 is is um is made is 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 dural is 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 an aluminium alloy called is an aluminium alloy called called duralumin and it's and it's obviously 
because obviously to say why it's obviously because obviously it's because it needs to be light. It's it's um it's it's done in aluminium, but it's sheet. It's aluminium sheet. It's sheet. It's aluminium. It's it's aluminium sheet. It's aluminium. It's aluminium. It's aluminium. It's dual aluminium sheet, which is which is then riveted into place for with hundred with a with con, with a with countersink with countersunk with rivets that are countersunk. So yeah, I decided to stick it in dual aluminium prime in bare metal primer in bare metal. Decided to do the prime the primer in bare metal and. Um, and I'm actually quite pleased with it. Shall I do that side? Or do that side? Actually, I'll show you it from that side as well. Yeah. So that's it from that side. And like I say, it's just in dual uh, in duralumin. I painted it's in pro it's in bare it's in under it's in bare metal undercoat. So yeah, that's the um, so yeah, I've got the yeah, I've got it in primer. Um, yeah, so I've got the aircraft in primer in duralumin, and like I say, I've got and like I say, I um. Yeah, and like I said, I'm really pleased with it, and I painted it in dual I mean, because that's the material it's made out of, and just so yeah, that's all I've got so far. So yeah, that's it. So that's all. So that's all for now. Um, that's all for now. So like I say, for you it will be. For like I say, when this video is published. Uh, when I've got this, like I say, when this video, when I, when I've got the second part of this video done, obviously for you it'll be see you in a few minutes. Obviously for you it'll be see you in a few minutes, but for me it'll be it'll be there'll be a good it'll be a good few days before it'll be a good few days before I be a good few days before I had this uh, painted painted fully painted in camouflage painted in painted in camouflage. Um, uh, fine, uh, painted up in camouflage, touched up, uh, touch up all the areas of paint, of paint, of paint where of paint colours where they shouldn't be, and then gloss. So, like I said, I don't know when the second part will be, but obviously when I don't know when the second part, when I'll have the second part. But like I say, as soon as I have the second part, obviously I'll merge it. So when you do see the final video, it'll be it'll be see you in when you do see this video, it'll be it'll be all one video, but in two. Well, two parts merged together. So I'll see you in a two to see you in a couple of see you in a, in a few seconds. See you in a, in a min in a minute. All right. Hello, fellas. I've got the second part of the um, the final update for you now. Um, obviously, last in the last part you saw it um, in bare metal primer. Now you'll see it. Now you're going to see it. Well, you're going to see it. Um, well, you, uh, you obviously, but you're now going to see. Obviously, I've got a bit more done on it, so you're going to see it in its current state. Uh, so yeah, I'll just show you. So, so yeah, I'll now show you. I'll show you what it looks like now, gents. Okay, here she is, gentlemen. Um, Here's the 109. Now, gentlemen, all paint. Here's the 109. Now, gentlemen, all painted. All painted up, ready for. All painted and glossed up, ready for her decals. Um, painting. Obviously, I obviously saw obviously saw the last part where it's all in bare metal. Um, in bare metal primer. Um, since that video, since that part, since that. That part was shot. I have I painted after I shot that part. I I painted the sides. 
I painted the sides and the and the tail fin in Humbrol 145 Humbrol enamel 145 and medium grey. I also painted the underside in 145 medium grey. As well as the landing gear and the landing and the outer leg and the outer landing gear legs are one four five medium grey as well, as well as the cow as well as the housings for the radiator. As well as the housing for the radiators and the covering and the cover and the access and the access patches and the access panels for the twenty millimeter. 20 millimeter cat for 20 millimeter cannon drums and the lower halves of the wing leading edge um, of the wing leading edge um, access covers to allow access to the cannons. Then I painted the from the rear. Then I painted the wing in the wing the top side of the the upper half of the wing the upper half in the wing the, the upper half of the wing the Fuselage, the fuselage, the top up this this the spine of the fuselage, mm -hmm. including the sides of the fuselage spine in Humbrol 26, which is I think yes I have Humbrol 26 is Humbrol 26. Humbrol acrylic 26 in Humbrol Humbrol acrylics Humbrol acrylic Humbrol's acrylic range number 20 paint number 26 which is a car which is khaki in in Humbrol Humbrol 26 khaki so that's here 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 there there and there and there there and there and then I painted the then obviously I painted the uh, the camouflage the, the dark green camouflage so the dark green camouflage on the dark green camouflage on On, as well as on the wings, the tail plane, the wings, the tail planes, the sides of the the sides of the um, of the fuselage, the sides of the fuse, the sides of the fuselage, the sides of the fuselage, uh, the canopy, the canopy, and the sides of the back half of the engine cowling the back half of the engine cowling as well and as well as the canopy and then as you can probably see with this particular with Joseph's Prillers 109 as you can probably see to what I've also got this or to, on the intersection of the starboard in the intersection of port wing I've got the this this bit here, which is this is painted in Humbrol in Humbrol seventy eight cockpit green. I don't particularly know why. Probably because it was it probably was dark green initially, and then where it's been where the aircraft's been outside for such a long time, it faded. 
to the extent that it became light green or it might be in grey or it might be to represent that grey green that the the grey green that Luftwaffe have used but I don't know I'm putting it down to paint fade and it's the same on the uh, on the on the engine cowl on the back part on the top part of the back part of the engine cowling here so yeah that's that and then after I painted the camouflage I just then painted the The, I just painted the aircraft's nose. I painted the nose in yellow. I painted the, the nose, the engine cowling in yellow. This side. And that side. This, this, this side and the other. And that side, and the uh, and the and I also painted the the rudder in yellow, both sides, and then of course I painted the underside of the rudder in yellow and the underside of the engine and the underside of the engine cowling in yellow as well top side the rudder top side obviously yellow as well as well R top side of the aircraft is in top side of the aircraft is in yellow as well as as well as the rudder top side of the aircraft is in, is in yellow as well and that's both the engine the top of the engine cowling and the top of the rudder and then the only final details were the only final details I the only I think I'm gonna have to reduce the light on this And then the only other detail, the only other detail, obviously I painted the propeller, the propeller spinner white, the propeller, the propeller black plate, the propeller black plate um, in black, in Humbro 91, black green, and that's that side, that's, 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 that's this side. This uh, this side, um, that side, and uh, the underside, the the underside, and the top side, which is hidden by the slightly hidden by the engine. Which is slightly hidden by the engine cowling. Then I just painted, pretty much painted the then I pretty much just painted the then I just pretty much painted the props in Humbrol 91 black green of hum in Humbrol 91 black green and then the only final touches I made were to, were the the only final touches I made was I painted the exhaust stacks in Humbrol one three one 
um, in Humbro one three, in Humbro one three one in one in Humbro one 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 three, uh, Humbro acrylic one one three, rust. Painted the exhaust, the exhaust pipe. Painted the exhaust pipes. Painted the exhaust pipes in rust, and then um, painted the exhaust pipe, the exhaust pipes in rust. Each side, and then I just, and then just to, and just to. Give, and then just to give the appearance that the aircraft, uh, the aircraft's been started a few times, I just painted the end of the stacks. I painted the end in the ends of the ends of the stacks in. I painted the ends of the stacks in black to indi to to indi to indicate the soot, the 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 the, the, soot, the soot deposits that have, that have built up. On the stacks as they've been as on the and through the, built up on the exhaust stacks as though as the engine's been fired a few times. So yeah, that's the so yeah that's that side. And that side again, like the other side, the black bits are the the rust. So the exhausts are, were painted in rust, and the black bits are the um soot deposits on the exhaust stacks so yeah that's the 109 so that's the 109 gents So that's the 109 gents and yeah so really pleased with it to be honest uh, really pleased with how it's come out and how it's look I'm uh, really pleased with how it's come out um and then all I did was after I'd done and then obviously after I painted it all up it, as you can see it's all glossed up and it just gave I gave it three coats of Humbrol of Humbrol um Humbrol gloss coat um Three coats of Humbrol gloss, uh, three coats of Humbrol gloss coat, and yeah, it looks really, really nice. I re really, really, I'd say it looks really, really nice now. So yeah, and then obviously because I've been trimming, and then because obviously I've got, I've got it in gloss, because I had it in gloss coat, lot the gloss coat obviously sealed the can and sealed the canopy closed. But if I can just. Play without. But there it is. There it is with the canopy open. So yeah, that's it really now, uh, So yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you. So all, that's all I really wanted to show you of it now. Um, so the next, so yeah, so I'll give you, I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more look at it. I'll give you a couple. I'll give you. I'll give you. Right, I'll give you two. I'll give you what shows you what it looks like. With canopy open.
Yeah, that's what, that's what it looks. Yeah, so yeah, that's what it looks like with its canopy open, gents. Right, so I suppose now, I suppose now you want to know when you'll next see a video, when you'll see the the final reveal from me. Well, that won't be till I've got the decals on, till I've decaled the whole thing, till I've completely decaled the aircraft, and till um, until I've completely decaled the aircraft. And until I've got, until I've completely decaled the aircraft and I've put the post deckling, um, the post, the post deckling gloss coat on, the post deckling, the post deck, the, the post deck, the, the post deckling, um, gloss coat on. And then obviously after that, I'll put the mat cut and then obviously I'll, and then after that, I'll put this, take this back to a mat, to to its mat finish, to its mat finish. And then I'll once I've got the mat finish on it, um, once I've got it back to the mat finish, then I'll do the final reveal. And also, I don't know what that will be. I don't know when that will be. So, and obviously, I don't know what that will be. So, until the next video, till the next, till the final reveal video, which I don't know when it will be. Paint your hands and face. Glue on your hands and face. Don't annoy parents. Don't annoy parents. Be good for them. Have fun. Enjoy modelling. Have have fun. Enjoy modelling. Stay safe. And be happy. And I'll t uh, until until my next until the final reveal video, which shouldn't be too long now. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. All right, gentlemen. All right. Good. All right. Alright gents, good, bye bye, bye gents, bye gentlemen, bye, bye bye, bye gents, bye gentlemen, bye.